For me, Dhoni is... I don't need a sentence. Three words will do. The coolest one. Uh, I think he's made a lot of selfless choices uh, along uh, along the way in his journey. That's who MS is for you. Uh, for me, MS Dhoni is, is, a, is a very uh, passionate uh, cricketer. Uh, knows his, his, his ability and always uh, backs his ability with, uh, with calmness uh, personified. He became a leader, uh, millions could inspire kiya. उसके बाद लोग उसके जैसा बनना चाहने लगे उम्मीद करते हैं कि रिटायरी ना हो कभी पर एक दिन किसी सबको रिटायर तो होना ही है कि जो उनका इंपैक्ट रहा है ना पूरी टीम पे पूरे गेंदबाज पे भारतीय क्रिकेट पे वो काबिल तारीफ है और उनको उनकी भरपाई करना इतना आसान नहीं incredible that someone who came from places like Ranchi, Kharagpur and then strode across the world scene like a giant never seemed to have any trouble adapting to a different level of cricket. That's what differentiates champions from others. I didn't hear of him really for a long time until a producer told me I've just seen this man bat, he's got long hair, he says he walks like a bull, he bats like he owns the place. Forget everybody, remember MS Dhoni. Indian team is so difficult to meet with the Indian team, so they want to get rid of it. They were run out. So it was a big deal for them, but Dhoni is such a person that they don't show much emotion. मैं तो अगर मैं थोड़ा एक्सप्रेशन दूँ फेस का तो ऐसा था मैं ऐसा नहीं हो सकता ऐसा करके मैं बोला था अपने आप को और हमलोग एक्चुअली वह लाफिंग कि द्रविड भी साथ साथ में थे और जो कि द्रविड बहुत शांत स्वभाव के प्लेयर हैं हमलोग बात कर रहे कि यार ये एक्चुअली रियल में हो रहा है जिस तरह से बल्लेबाजी कर रहे हैं महेंद्र सिंह धोनी हर कॉर्नर में शॉट लगाए बड़े शॉट लगाए छक्के चौके वो उनका एक एक पहला जो इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे जो एक शुरुआती दौर का जो मैच था वहाँ तक दर्शा दिया कि कितने बड़े प्लेयर हैं और कितना महान प्लेयर बनने के लिए भारत के लिए खेल रहा है एनीवन हु न्यू एमएस एट दैट पॉइंट ऑलवेज न्यू द फैक्ट दैट ही वाज a very astute cricketer, a very astute person, someone who was very sharp at all points. You know, he was he was on the button. He knew what he wanted to do. He was very clear about you know what he was trying to achieve for himself as a cricketer who represented the country. And also, you know, when he was a captain of the team, you also felt that you know he wanted all of us to do well. And he built that kind of an atmosphere. When I went to MS and said, you know, give me the ball. I want to bowl in the bowl out. He said, yeah, okay, do it. I know you'll do it. So I think the beauty of that World Cup was that. Everyone in that in that ground, no matter where we were on the field, when he made that decision to give Jogi the ball, we just trusted. You know, so every decision that was made, every call that was taken, was trusted by each one of us on the on the field and just off the field, just outside the ropes as well. And I think that's what created that magic of 2007. That World T20 in South Africa changed a lot of things. We know it led to the birth of T20 cricket is modern form as we know it. But the single biggest gain beyond being the catalyst for the IPL was the arrival of MS Dhoni. As someone who could lead from the front, who in the going what got tough was really calm, that's the first we saw of him. And yet who in times of victory was not grandstanding, was not putting himself there in front. Coming in, becoming the lead player for Chennai Super Kings, it started a love story with Chennai Super Kings that has just grown and grown and grown and grown and magnificent. The first IPL in 2010, all those Champions League trophies, but more than anything else, the finishes. I asked Rahul Dravid once many years ago, I said, why Dhoni, why not Dhoni at three? He said, because nobody will finish like him at number six. He's far more valuable at six. We'll find a three, but we won't find someone who finishes like him. 
and then the legend of Dhoni finishing guru that came in Dharamshala where as I as I've often said I saw this ball wide ball going against the night sky like it was a meteor headed somewhere uh, the game in Sri Lanka uh, where what 14 15 together the last over refusing singles wanting to finish it himself the aura the just the feeling of Dhoni the finisher just grew and grew and grew and to be honest even from the commentary box if it was 90 of 7 overs as it once was in the IPL you didn't think it was over you said how is he going to find a way out not will he find a way out 2011 is is, is something uh, which uh, which was very important tournament when you are playing in front of your home crowd uh, world cup is, is is a big stage and uh, as far as bowling was concerned you know for a for a keeper to be constantly communicating with with bowler at times is it's is hard uh, job to do and and he had enough trust in me uh, to to take the initiative or take the lead with uh, with that regard uh, that really worked very well uh, throughout uh, my career and and ms as uh, as captain uh, you know was always uh, the case aur mahendra singh dhoni ki yahi class thi yahi khaas baat thi ki wo team ko apne saath leke chalte the aur aap 2011 ki baat kar rahe hain main to kahunga ki uske baad se leke ab tak 2019 tak bhi ki agar aap virat kohli ki bhi baat kare कोच रवि शास्त्री की बात करें तो उनके लिए भी एक पिलर है युवराज सिंह की जगह महेंद्र सिंह धोनी गए तो गए और उन्होंने क्या किया वो तो मुझे कहने की जरूरत नहीं आंकड़े दर्शाते हैं कि केवल स्किल ही नहीं उनका जो दिमाग है उनकी जो विल थी वो उन्हें कहाँ तक लेके गई है बैकिंग इज एबिलिटीज आई थिंक दैट्स बीन द ग्रेटेस्ट एसेट विच ही हैड प्लेइंग क्रिकेट He has pushed the game to uh, to that stage where the bowlers are, are feeling the pressure and they are committing those errors, which he can really capitalize on, and and that is something which uh, which shows in M S Dhoni the uh, the great finisher. He's only been captain of India for six years. In those six years, M S Dhoni has got IPL titles, Champions League titles. but with india he's got a world t20 he's got a world cup win and you could say that all that is because there were all these great players around him then he comes to this to england for the champions trophy and he says i need an opening batsman so who's my opening batsman is rohit sharma you're my opening batsman it's changed rohit sharma's life what a role he has had to play in the evolution of chahal and kuldeep i've been very lucky to have had the stump mic turned on and i've heard some very very interesting instructions there's almost as if someone's providing the vo voice and the bowlers are following i think he's played a magnificent role in the development of people and i think in the smooth transition of dhoni to kohli was is, is one of his biggest moments i think he's got an uncanny ability to just live in the moment and back a player when he asks him to do difficult things a single double mein unhone apni life zindagi bana di aur aur bharat ko phir chakke chauko se finish kiya game ko his biggest legacy has has been uh, the fact that every time he's he's there at the crease you have hope you know it doesn't matter what the situation is he has played uh, that kind of innings uh, pretty much uh, throughout his, his his career i as a cricketer as a friend i'm uh, grateful to him for you know all that he's been to me and uh, the leader that he's been to me alag se kabiliyat thi alag sa talent tha jo ki at the best highest level pe unhone explore kiya so thank you dhoni great captain aur great team man aur indian cricket ko jo itna yogdan aur aage tak leke gaye uske liye mera hi nahi sabka thank you very much what endeared him to me even more was once he gave up the captaincy there was no song and dance about it there was no grand standing come look at me me captain greatest i am abdicating look at me no just that's it for me thank you aur main to hamesha se kehta rahu ki mahendra singh dhoni jab bhi jayenge tab aapko unki na real value unki pata lagegi